Josh. I'm a physics and math tutor here on WiseAnts, and I came on here to answer this question or help out. So Ia and Anya each run at a speed of eight miles per hour, and they walk at a speed at 3.1 miles per hour. They set off together on a route of length five miles. Anya walks half the distance and runs the other half, while Ia walks half of the time and runs the other half. So for this problem, we're going to want to use our velocity um, equations. So uh, these three are all the same equation, just rewritten for different, um, solving for different variables. So velocity is equal to distance over time. Velocity times time equals distance, and time equals distance over velocity. So for part A, we want to figure out how long it takes Anya to cover five miles. She runs for five. She runs for two point five miles, and then walks for two point five miles. So let's calculate the time at each of these distances. So the time it takes her to run 2.5 miles is going to be the distance divided by it's going to be the distance divided by the speed that she runs at so that's going to be equal to the distance 2.5 miles divided by her speed 8 miles per hour which is just equal to 0.3125 hours the second time it takes her to walk is going to be the same formula um, distance divided by velocity and that's going to be equal to um, 2.5 miles again, divided by her velocity, her speed, 3.1 miles, which is equal to 0 0.806 hours. So if we add these two together, we get that her time in the first, um, her total time to run five miles is going to be 1.12 hours. And now if we multiply that by 60, we get that her time in minutes is going to be um, 67.2 minutes. And that should be your answer. So now to find her, um, her average speed, what we're gonna wanna do is um, use the velocity formula to calculate average velocity, which is V equals um, the distance divided by the time it takes to run. Luckily, we already have both of these uh, quantities. She runs five miles, and we saw from above it takes her 1.2 hours to run that, 1.12 hours to run that. So her average speed is going to be just this, which is 4.46 miles per hour. So now for part C. We know that uh, half the time she runs um, and then half the time she walks. So let's use the second equation, velocity times time equals the distance run. So her velocity running is eight miles per hour and she does that for one half of the time, so 0.5 T. And then she walks for the other half with a velocity of 3.1 miles per hour. And she does that again for half the time. And that's going to be equal to the distance um, that she took or that she's running, which is five miles. So now we go ahead and solve this equation and get 5.55t equals five. And that the time it takes her to run is about 0.9 hours which in minutes is going to be, you multiply by 60 to get minutes, um, which is going to be 54 minutes. So now to find her average speed, we could either do the same thing that we did before and take um, five miles divided by 0.9 hours to get 5.55 um, miles per hour. Or you can do it a little bit different because you know half the time she's running um, at a speed of 8, um, and half the time she's walking uh, at a speed of 3.1. You could also calculate it this way, where you just um, add the 2 and divide by 2, because we're finding an average. And this only works because she's doing it for exactly half the time. And you would get the same answer. You get 5.55 miles per hour. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, and these are your solutions.